Hi, John McElroy here, talking all things automotive. Today, we're at the Automate Show, which is this gigantic show in downtown Detroit, looking all about factory automation, robotics, and a bunch of other things. And I've got the great fortune to have Marco Andriano here with me today. He's the CEO and president of Thieves Automation North America. And boy, he knows this stuff. And Marco, first, Tell us about what your impressions of the show are. Well, John, first of all, thank you. Thank you for your time. Thank you. It's a pleasure to, to stay here with you. Uh, let, me, let me start in this way. I love Detroit. We are in Detroit, and to have uh, Automate in Detroit for me is, is really nice. Because usually it's in other places. Because yeah, and it's in Chicago, and, and switch the time between Chicago and Detroit. And I believe that this year is going to be the larger Automate show that we ever had. You know? It, it should have been in Detroit, right? It should, it should not need to be in Detroit. And I believe that there are more than 850 exhibitors. Uh, they are forecasting more than 35,000 people visiting um, the show. No? And the, the exhibition, the show, is, is a massive, uh, massive center. No? So it's good, it's good. It's good to be in Detroit. Yeah. What catches your fancy here? I mean, what, what, what are some of the trends in factory automation? that you see? But for sure, uh, I mean, I'm impressed by the, the collaborative robots, no, cobots, uh, and- uh, They're everywhere here. Everywhere, and uh, humanoids, uh, and of course, there is a lot of exhibitors about uh, artificial intelligence, machine learning, and other technology, you know, mm -hmm. vision system, uh, motion control, uh, new product in the inter internet of things and industry 4.0, so it's pretty good. But let me, let me share one with you one one comment. What I like about Automate is uh, is the people that are coming here, is the connection, is the networking. Keep in mind that in this show you can find student, you can find a normal employee, you can find business owner. It's a great way to get together, to share opinion, to share the needs. Someone has a solution, someone has a needs. It's nice, it's really nice to be here. And it's companies from all over the world. Everywhere, everywhere. And uh, I always like to say that uh, people remain the key of the transformation. People remain the main asset of a company. People is part of the solution, regardless of the technology. Mm -hmm. So let's talk a little bit about cobots. They're everywhere. Why are they catching on so quickly? So uh, the demand for sure is, is growing, uh, driven by different things. It's driven by technology, it's driven by new application, is driven by, by uh, the needs. And affordability. Affordability, so the price is going down. You know? Just the fact that we have more uh, uh, producer of Cobot, new player, automatically the price is going down, so, so it's become affordable. You were telling me earlier, before we got started, the price can range anywhere from $15,000 up to $80,000. Yes, it depends on the application, depends on the payload. It's, it's not affordable. hundreds of thousands no, of dollars it's like robot. Better better. It's yeah. getting better, but it's getting affordable and it's getting uh, easier to use, easier mm -hmm. to use. So it's really nice. Um, another factor can be uh, the lack of work. You know? And we talk about... Uh, it's hard to get people to come and work in factories these days. Two main uh, topics, skills. You know? yeah. There are no people with, with the right skills. And as you say, the people don't want to work in this kind of environment. Mm -hmm. Automotive stuff. Yeah. Okay, so, so more and more uh, we have this kind of uh, uh, product that is helping the, the, the lack of workers. No? Um, I would say also technology. No? Technology now we have some uh, vision system embed on the collaborative robot. No? So it's getting easier to install, to use the collaborative robot. You don't need any more uh, huge system, vision system, curtain safety. No? It's getting, it's getting um, easy to use. Mm -hmm. And uh, talking about uh, easy to use, uh, of course, artificial intelligence, machine learning is helping this, this process. Today, we are moving in the self-programming robots, no? Self-programming? Yeah, so well, robot, tell, I, I've never heard of this, what's this so about? Less and less, you need a human inter interaction with the robots to, to program the robots, no? The artificial intelligence is able to, to do for you, okay? There are some applications that uh, you can use collaborative robot or any kind of robot without a program the robot, without programming the path of the robot. And this is a huge, no? yeah, it's yeah, huge. Yeah, yeah. and it can help, the application can help. That means even I could do program the robot, yeah, right? Yeah, it's, like, <laughs> it's like the concept of the iPhone, okay? Uh -huh. Nobody teach you how to use the iPhone, nobody's teaching me, it taught me how to use the iPhone, but we know how to use the iPhone. Yeah. No? It's a natural, um, it, it's easy to use, no? mm -hmm. it's natural. No? Mm -hmm. So this one is going to be the trend for any kind of uh, 
robots, collaborative robot application. You mentioned artificial intelligence. I gotta believe it's going into everything. Is, uh, is the use is accessible to everyone? Mm -hmm. uh, for sure, is helping. Is helping the, the the business. Is helping the process. Is helping the uh, to get in touch with the people. So is helping the communication. Is gonna be more and more uh, a daily use in our business. Mm -hmm. Marco, I gotta ask you about the tariffs. As you know, they're they're designed to make things almost impossible to import in some cases, but the real goal is to revive manufacturing in the U.S. Are, are you seeing that happen? Are your customers coming to you and saying, hey, we got to put more equipment in the U.S. factories? So, uh, yes, okay, of course the tariff is to uh, bring back the, the job in the United States, the manufacturer, to boom the manufacturing, the industry in the United States. Uh, at the moment, uh, we are in a, in a strange time, you know. The, the tariff uh, doesn't concern me. The tariff, is, 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 we need to be uh, scared about the tariff. Today, what is, the problem is the uncertainty. Tariff, yes, tariff, not, postpone. So the company, the company, the industry, don't know, don't, doesn't have yet a clear vision. Of and what and so they're not spending so any they're money. So they're not spending, they're not investing, right. though, the industry is slowing down. Uh, everybody's trying to understand what is the next make or buy strategy. Do we need to develop a new supplier internally? Do we need, do we need to uh, in-source, uh, bring back the skills that yesterday we were outsourcing to the best coast country? Mm -hmm. So, the concern for me is not too much uh, the application of the tariff. For me, the, 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 the concern today is the uncertainty of the situation. Personally speaking, for feeds, feeds automation for North America, um, we always uh, try to work locally, not in Michigan, but in the United States. So for us, the made in the United States, made in America, is still has a huge value. So today, we are not impacted on this one. Mm -hmm. okay, so we will work with our supplier, we will work, we will keep working with our um, supply chain, and uh, we will be ready for the next uh, boom or in the next yeah. investment. Well, I think once the uncertainty is gone, Absolutely. good or bad, we're going to see companies Absolutely. open up and start spending Absolutely. again. As soon as the situation is clear, everybody's going to invest. Everybody's right. going to depend on the strategy, but everybody's going to invest. The, the market is going to start again. Yeah. So. No, I, I see uh, the automakers in particular probably adding more overtime, maybe adding a third shift if they have a two shift operation, but I got to believe they're going to make more in the U.S. If the tariff is going to in, this, in this direction, absolutely yes, mm -hmm. absolutely. And it's going to be, we will be ready. Yeah, good. Marco, thanks for your time today. Thank Always you a pleasure to talk with you. Thank you very much. I learn a lot. Thank you very much. Thank you.